I mean, that could have been nasty right into the eye of uh, Margarito. It's a bit more elusive at least there from Margarito. Starting to get his head moving a little. It's a good right hand too. Got through with that one. Well, this is where he can beat Diaz to the punch. At long range, he's got to look to stay out, use his skills and movement, and just keep the long punches coming in. He's just trying to give it a little more by way of lateral movement as well, Margarita. Maybe the corner have been talking about that to him. Now, there are signs here that he is starting to do something about the problems that Diaz was posing. And he is just starting to come back in the fight, Margarito. It's a good one, isn't it, this? It is a good one. He's starting to up the tempo a bit. He knows he has to, Margarito, and this is good from him. Good shots, and Diaz just sat for a moment there and looked a shade dispirited. Well, he's been working well for the, the last four or five rounds. Diaz and now Margarito's picked it up he's took everything and now he's starting to put Diaz on the back foot just when you thought that Diaz had everything under control Margarito comes back again the best fights I always think are like good books they've got a few twists and turns along the way well he's looking to write a new chapter here Margarito just picking the, the pace up, and this is good from him. It's quite heavy-handed as well, and he wants it bad. Break, break. You just feel neither of these are what you'd call huge concussive punches, but both of them can bang a little bit, and at some point you feel that some of these punches need to take an effect and that something has to give. That's a great left uppercut from Margarito, who's really come back well over the last couple of rounds. Well, maybe he's starting to feel Diaz weaken a bit in there, but it certainly brought him on, starting to get more confidence, Margarito. It's a cracking battle, this. This is Margarito's round so far, the uppercut especially working for him. They're just blocking the, the left hook. But it was his better work inside and at long range that will have given Margarito that round. That uppercut was uh, a really good shot for him right the way through the round. Round eight. Now then, can Margarito continue to make an impression on Diaz here? Forty-fourth fight tonight for Diaz, and the thirtieth for Margarito, who remember started when he was fifteen years old. Well, Diaz has to start and regain control in this fight. Margarito has just come on better over the last couple of rounds. Margarito looking pretty strong. Now they're trading punch for punch in this eighth round. Good shot, left hook, Diaz. Two good right hands for Margarito. It is a terrific scrap between these two. Both of them absolutely trained to the minute for this. 
Watch the use of the head. There's Jane Nady. But I don't think anybody who's paid to get in here is complaining about what they're getting for their money. Good uppercut, Margarito left on the inside. Well, he's getting better work going on the inside as well, Margarito. He can do it behind the jab at long range, but now you just sense he's feeling stronger. Just keeps on letting the lever fly, Antonio Margarito. If he misses with a few, well, he misses with a few. That seems to be his view. But it creates a good impression for the judges. Diaz has to match this kind of work rate. Right hand, Diaz teeing off with that one. Oh, terrific right to end the round from Margarito. Oh, my God, I've pulled Margarito right back. I've got the fight standing level at this point. But Margarito, he's had the last three rounds for me. Well, I gave Margarito the first, then Diaz the next four, and then Margarito the next three. So, yep, I've got it level two, four rounds apiece. Margarito just starting to look the stronger of the two. Maybe Diaz just fading a little bit. Some of these punches are having a good effect. And Margarito just starting to push forward more. Ninth round here at the Bally's Event Center on the seething strip of Las Vegas. Green trunks, remember, of Antonio Margarito from Tijuana of Herb Alpert taxi fame, not to mention Eric Morales' boxing belt fame as well. He's really picked it up, Margarito. And it's a cliche, but true. We're at that stage where it's who wants it most. Well, at the end of the fifth, it looks like he was fading away, Margarito, but really has shown great character, come back into this fight, and now, in the ninth round, he looks the stronger of the two. And he's starting to throw the shots with much more venom. He went through a period where Diaz was outboxing him, and he was looking one-dimensional and not really throwing that left jab with too much menace or the right hand and Diaz was blocking them it's all changed again in the last couple of rounds well, he's getting a bit cocky in there Margarita dropping the hands now that could be a, a mistake for him or is that a sign that he's getting a little tired sometimes is isn't it when fighters drop the gloves like that well he has sh shaken the arms out once or twice, so maybe just starting to feel it in those arms. As Diaz has been here before in these long fights. Beautiful right uppercut from Diaz. All the way through, just a suspicion that Diaz has got the better punch economy And I think he's got the more rounded skills as well. That isn't to say those attributes will be enough here because Margarito is very, very fired up and obviously hungry. They are both tiring, though, you can tell now. Well, this is where it gets exciting. They both are tired. They stand toe to toe. The hands come down. This is where they make mistakes. 
Lovely little right on the inside from Margarito. I think these two are going to fight each other to a standstill. They have done so much work in there. Real intensity about the battle. Pick a winner of that round. Well, who'd have thought it? At the end of round five, you'd have thought that Diaz was maybe a couple of rounds away from picking Margarito apart completely, wearing him down for a stoppage. Now, a totally different scenario. Well, that shows the character, toughness of these top quality Mexican fighters. Well, there are so many of them, aren't there, from Mexico. I mean, what is it about these fellows? And the promoters, of course, love them. Not only because they put in great fights, but they do tend to be on the cheap side. Well, Terrible thing to say, <laughs> but it's true. That helps when promoters are totting up their yeah. finances. Tenth round. No bell to start the round. Is it broken? Inside the last nine minutes of this one. And the result almost certainly up for grabs, I would say. Though Dave Moretti, Jerry Roth and Dr. Clark Samatino from Providence, Rhode Island may have other ideas. I've got it uh, Margarito by one. I think you're the same, aren't you, Glenn? Yes, exactly the same. Just that last round between them. Who's got the finish in them? Well, maybe Margarito might be the, the hungrier of the two. Well, he's been knocking around on undercards for a few years, this Margarito. This is the chance for him to graduate into the big time and the bigger money. Well, good combination from Margarito there, mixing up head and body. And at the moment, Diaz is struggling, really, to get in range. And it seems to have run out of ideas for a moment. And it just seems like this marauding style of Margarito is proving a little bit too much for him. Because maybe just starting to have a bit of a crisis in there. Diaz starting to get hit more and more. Oh, look at these shots. And he's down! Three-punch combination, left uppercut to finish. Diaz Four, on the floor. Five, six, seven, eight. Up okay? at eight, he was listening to it. His right eye's closing as well. He's blinking through the pain. Diaz, Margarito can have him here. These are huge shots. Nothing coming back from Diaz. Margarito on the very brink. But Diaz needs to start throwing back. It's all Margarito here. And unless he does, the referee will step in and stop the fight. They're trying to wave it off, I think. The Diaz corner are trying to pull him out. It is over. And Antonio Margarito has pulled off a wonderful win. Tears for Diaz's wife. Tears of anguish. Sadness for him. A nice man and a good fighter. Beaten here. But Antonio Margarita, who was getting outboxed through most of the early rounds, has come back in storming fashion, and he may be a new welterweight star in the firmament. He's a free-swinging, long-armed, rangy puncher. I said something would have to give. In the end, it was Diaz. But it was that left of a cut. He'd been threatening with that. He'd been throwing some good ones in the two previous rounds. And it was two really good left of a cut. Well, they were absolutely shuddering blows, weren't they? Well, he wasn't going to be stopped now. He got his man hurt, got a pile of pressure on. The towel comes in from Diaz's corner. They're waving it off. Tenth round all over. Antonio Margarito, the new WBO welterweight champion of the world.